Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's tutorial is on minimalism in bird photography. This is part two of a three-part series. The part one was negative space in bird photography, and part three will be color theory for bird photographers. So what is minimalism? Minimalism is literally using a minimal number of compositional elements in the photograph. By reducing the use of color, shapes, textures, and subjects, and just having one element or as few as possible in the photograph, we have a minimalistic effect. If you think about it, we're always trying to get a soft, clean background in our bird photography. This is pretty close to minimalist photography. In minimalism, it's not so much about the subject, the bird, as it is about trying to convey an idea, a concept, or evoke some emotion in the audience. Minimalism is a very subjective style of photography. There's a clean aesthetic to it. Minimalism takes advantage of negative space. And you can see last week's tutorial about negative space. I'll link it up above in the corner. But there's an openness and an, even an expansiveness in minimalist photography. So why is minimalism important in bird photography? Minimalism can be a more personal form of photography, and some people describe it as being more intuitive. Balance the importance of negative space and the subject so that the subject doesn't lose any importance, but we evoke that feeling of openness in the image. Negative space and simplicity can also help to make the bird more important in the frame. We get soothing results that evoke emotions of calmness, tranquility, or peacefulness. So how do we get minimalism in our photographs? Find a striking subject and then try to isolate it so that it floats in the frame. With a lot of negative space around something, you get to see the subject in a different light and it evokes a certain emotion. But don't shoot too tight. Don't shoot like we normally shoot in bird photography with a guidebook style close-up view of the bird. Use a lot of negative space. Make the bird smaller in the frame. Generally, when photographing this style, photographers look for patterns, shapes, repetition, lines, textures. So keep an eye out for elements when photographing birds and try to include them. Sometimes, by just making sure there's a pop of color or a complementary color, it works. Simplify. Don't make it boring, but simplify. And remember, less is definitely more in minimalistic photography. Having a lot of negative space increases the emotion and the sense of openness we're striving for in a minimalist image. Placement of the bird in the frame near the edge or in the corners can increase the impact of simplicity and openness and spaciousness in the image. By paying attention to the background and having a clean background, it makes the bird stand out. It makes the subject more intense, more powerful. And then if the background is white, it's even more emotive. Now, we want an uncluttered scene. We want to clean up anything that's distracting in the frame. And so there are sand spots in this image, and I clean them up in Photoshop and Lightroom so that there's no distractions. And we're really looking at the balance between the negative space and the impact of the bird has with us. And if the bird is looking at us or trying to make eye contact and there's that gleam in the eye, it works even more so. Work the subject some. Find your subject. Figure out how you can make a photograph look a little bit more minimalistic in style. Here's a red-necked grebe. Here it's calling, and these are all kind of standard shots, but this one with the bird up in the corner and this clean expansiveness of water and the greenness of it is all very calming. Green's a very calming color, so it's a very calming, tranquil shot. Now, some people find that shooting in a square format or cropping to a square format will help them create a more minimalistic photograph. Minimalism is looking at the world differently. So here's a rainbow, uh, clouds, the ocean, and some sanderlings. The rainbow is the main element, and the fact that there's a small flock of sanderlings in the middle of the rainbow on the beach, to me that's the minimalistic nature of this photograph. Some people will say it has too many elements, but for me it has a certain tranquility to it and beauty to it, and it's very simplistic.
I hope you've enjoyed part two of this three-part series. Next week, we'll do part three, and that will be on color theory in bird photography. If you want to learn even more about bird photography, pick up a copy of my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and a trade paperback. Hey, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and then click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching this week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.